what's up tnt gang it's your girl tay and i am back here with another video um if you're new to the channel welcome if you're old welcome back be sure to like comment and subscribe to this channel and join the gang because what are you doing um now i'm not sure what the title is i don't even know how the thumbnail is gonna look i really don't know what this video is about they just gave me the camera and told me to go for it so what i have here is um i have some shrimp from Ray Shrimp House, um, some Sprite, some water. Now I'm on a diet type of thing, so I'm not supposed to have soda, but I already had this, so I'm not gonna not drink it. So yeah. Um, and then I also have a few packages stone box, not a few, two, um, which is this one and then the box right here. And yeah, so we're just gonna get into this video, whatever it is, and yeah i'm gonna actually eat first because i'm hungry the only thing i've had today was like a half a cup of yogurt and i had like a whole little thing of yogurt but i didn't eat it all because i was so busy that i let it sit and i don't like yogurt if it's not cold so so I got it with mouth sauce on the side. I don't see how y'all be getting sauce on on y'all meat. I like. I feel like when you put sauce on your meat, you really don't have control as to how much is on there. Like it's not no fries. Like the only thing I get on like anything like my meat or anything that I'm eating is if it's cheese. But that'll be just with nachos and stuff. Dang, this left the bag smelling good. Y'all, this is my second time. And Ray Shrimp House is located in Gary, Indiana, by the way. I'll leave all the stuff for them in the description below. Um, This is my second time having them. The first time I had some shrimp. I had a half pound of shrimp. And I loved it. Okay. I loved it. Now, I ain't gonna lie, this been sitting for a minute because, y'all, I be so busy. I I do not be having time to eat. I don't be having time to sleep. This is this is how it is to be an entrepreneur. Um, So, it has its ups and downs. Listen. I probably got this an hour ago. I ain't heated up or nothing. First time I had it, I didn't eat it until like 30 minutes after. It was still warm and it was good, okay? Now this time, it ain't that warm no more because it's been longer. <clears throat> but the taste is definitely there. Y'all, hold on. Stop talking to me. Speaking of entrepreneurial, entrepreneur, entrepreneur. Speaking of being an entrepreneur, <clears throat> I think it's entrepreneur, entrepreneurial. It's not that I don't know how to pronounce it. It's I can't pronounce it. It's like, and everybody, I feel like everybody has those certain words. But for me, it's certain words that I cannot pronounce right. Like, it takes me a plethora of times to pronounce it right. And after the second time, I'm not going to say it no more. So that's one of those words, but um, yeah. Speaking of being an entrepreneur, I guess I can offer you guys a few tips um, for starting a business. Now, I'm trying to think because it's so many businesses that you guys can start, um, but I'm thinking, let's see, if I can give, if I could give five tips to someone that wants to start a business or like literally just started, um, I gotta write this down, y'all. Y'all bear with me. Cause I wanna give y'all good tips. Well, you know what? Never mind. I'm gonna go right off the dome because I want to be raw. And me writing down what I'm going to say is not me being raw. So if I could give you guys five tips right now, um, if you are starting a business or you want to start a business, um, 
I'm going to count down. No, I'm going to count up. So one would be to um, know what you want to do. Don't just do something because you see somebody else doing it. Really know that what you want to do and know that that's what you want to do. Um, I'm not saying that, you know, you got to have everything figured out. No, but just know what you want to do. If you want to be, uh, if you want to have an e-commerce business, know that you want to do that. If you want to be a tax preparer, know that you want to do that. If you want to start a nonprofit, know that you want to do that. Know what you want to do. Tip number two would be to surround yourself with people with um, similar mindsets as you. Um, now, I'm not saying that you can't, you know, be around, you know, you know, the people that you grew up with or you go to work with or stuff. But you, when you're an entrepreneur, you have to surround yourself around other entrepreneurs. You just have to, or if you want money, you have to surround yourself around people that have money. If you want to be a millionaire, you need to find people, you either need to find millionaires to be around or you need to find people that are on their way to six figures to be around or people that are just on the right path to go where you want to go. You can't, because you know what, when I was younger, I, I didn't really used to believe in the term birds of a feather flock together. But now I really do because if you... If you hanging around other four people, it's five of y'all. If you hanging around four broke people, you're going to be the fifth one. But if you're hanging around four rich people, I guarantee you, you'll be the fifth one. Tip number three kind of goes into two. It would be to, I'm just be honest. I don't care who feelings are hurt. Don't let someone that has never done what you're trying to do tell you how to do it right and i'm gonna go in on this one right <laughs> i'm gonna go in like i'm really trying to give y'all some tips and this is like this is real life because i've experienced all of this stuff all of this stuff right and i'm gonna go back and tell you why but yeah number three um don't do not let someone that has never done what you're trying to do tell you how to do it tell you what to do how don't don't even take advice from them how are you going to so you want to be a millionaire, right? Say you want to be Beyonce. Just put it out there. You want to be Beyonce. If you want to be Beyonce, would you take advice from someone that's not Beyonce? Nobody knows how to be Beyonce. If you want to be a dancer, would you take advice from someone that's not a dancer? What? Really? If you want to be an entrepreneur, would you take advice for some from someone that is not an entrepreneur? It just doesn't make, it don't make no sense to me. Like, so again, don't take advice. And I'm not saying that they can't give you advice, but on a serious note, like if they're telling you that, oh, you shouldn't do this. It's really when they tell you that you shouldn't do something, because I can tell you right now, if I would have listened to half the stuff that people told me not to do i wouldn't be in the position that i am now and i'm not anywhere where i'm not anywhere near where i want to be but i can tell you that i'm better off than i was a year ago i'm better off than i was six months ago i'm better off than i was three months ago and it's just gonna keep going for me so don't take advice from someone that hasn't done what you're trying to do and it could be your mom, it could be your siblings, friends, it does coworkers, it doesn't matter. So yeah, tip three, don't take advice from someone that has never done what you're trying to do. Um, on that, not just in general advice, but on that, if they're trying to give you advice on something that you want to do and they haven't done it, don't listen. Take it into consideration. Don't take action on it. Unless you really feel like what they're saying is good. Other than that, drop it like a bad habit four um be consistent um and i know um you hear this a lot from everything that you do but consistency is literally the key to doing anything that you want to do as long as you have consistency in whatever you're doing those goals that you want you'll reach them um those six figures that you want is coming everything that you want is coming as long as you stay consistent and i'm not saying that you have to work and this is the thing a lot of people 
a lot of people get scared because they see that these entrepreneurs they only some entrepreneurs sleep three four hours out of the out of the day some entrepreneurs get up at four or five o'clock in the morning some entrepreneurs don't go to sleep till four or five o'clock in the morning and i think that scares a lot of people because they're like oh my gosh i gotta lose all this sleep no you don't no you don't you just have to know what you want to do and plan out how you're going to spend your days um and and it really kind of depends on all what you're doing because some businesses won't take as much time up as other businesses. Like, if you're starting a YouTube channel, that's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. If you're doing drop, if you're doing e-commerce, let's take e-commerce and drop shipping. If you're doing e-commerce, it's your own website. You're going to have to do everything. You're going to be uh, everything. You're the boss. You're you the one shipping out the packages. Dang. Anyways, um... Bro. Bro, this shit irritates me. Basically, if you are going into the e-commerce world, you're going to be doing everything on your own. Like, if you're doing your own website. Now, you can pay people to do certain stuff for you, but I wouldn't recommend that unless you got the money for that. I still wouldn't recommend it. You can really do it's a lot of stuff that you can do yourself when being um a business owner. Um, but on the drop shipping side, it's less work. You the people order off your site, you put in the um order from wherever your vendor is or whatever, and then they ship it straight to them. And that's pretty much it. You don't have to ship nothing out. You don't have to send out tracking numbers or do this or, I mean, you got to do other stuff like follow up with the customer or do at run sales and things like that. But it's a lot less work from running your own online business versus drop shipping. Um, and if you guys would like me to do a video on that, let me know. Number five would be to start if you have it and if you have the number five would be to do it because if you need these tips on how to start a business then you haven't started <laughs> so that's number five to just start just do it and that's, that goes for anything. If you want to be a dancer, a singer, any type of artist, uh, uh, artist, Picasso. Um, if you want to be a tax preparer, if you want to be a real estate agent, if you want to be this and that, if you want to be a YouTuber, you got to start. You have to do it. That's the first step. That's definitely the first step to just start. Start somewhere. Um, start with a plan. I would definitely plan it out. Me personally, I did a little bit of planning, but I didn't do that much. And then half of the planning, I didn't even go off based off my plans. I just did what I wanted. Not did what I wanted necessarily, necessarily, but yeah, I just kicked the tripod. So that's that. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, um, I will put like the, the five, I need to write it down before I forget it, but I could just go back and look at the video. But yeah, those are five tips. If you want to, you know, start your own business or you've already started and you're kind of stuck. Cause a lot of people, especially when it comes to like, uh, retail sales and stuff like that, like reselling items and things, a lot of people just sell stuff to make money but they don't really get into the business side of it. And it's like, you're only going to be able to do that for so long. <laughs> you know, you're only going to be able to make so much money off of it. I mean, some people will profit, but your business is only going to go so far if you don't think bigger, if you don't think to get an EIN, set up a business banking account, if you don't think to do this, to do that. Like, it, it'll only your business will only go so far if you don't think to take further action with your business um but yeah any other tips that i can give you guys or advice you guys i always leave my social media below you guys are welcome to dm me comment on this video 
and let me know this is not a financial advice page but i just felt like i had to put that out there and if you guys don't know i will be starting a entrepreneur series really really soon just to show you guys how it is to be an entrepreneur the ups the downs y'all ain't gonna see me cry but i be crying i <laughs> i be crying i be breaking down like it it it's stressful it definitely it definitely is stressful um at times but one thing i learned if i'm working on anything for my business or whatever whether it's for my business well i have multiple businesses multiple businesses but whether it's for one of my businesses um or whether it's for youtube or whatever whatever the case may be if i'm if i'm feeling stressed i just stop i stop what i do i'm doing i take a break uh, drink some water, get something to snack on or something like that. But I stop because I don't, I don't ever want to stress myself out. I don't ever want to stress myself out. And I have, but I've learned to, you know, <clears throat> take better care of myself. Y'all, should I do mukbangs? I got a, I ain't gonna lie. I got like a list of mukbangs to do all types of different restaurants that I definitely want to do. But I just feel like I don't, I ain't that good at mukbangs. But I can't think like that. Never think like that. If you want to be a YouTuber, never think like that. Never think that something won't blow up. Never think that. Just never think. Never think anything but good things about your, you know, your post or your videos. Because you never know. So pretty much all of the packages that I've been unboxing lately have been business related. So I'm just letting you guys know. Now, this was the most unnecessary thing. They put this in this big bag i don't even know what this is honestly oh are these the purses i don't want to get too excited i don't know what to say at all um. okay that's not gonna work Y'all know where I could get a nice rug from, like an area rug. Not too, not too gigantic, but not too small. Like, like something that's like five by five by seven, or no, seven by five. Something like that. At least that'd be it. A little bit bigger though. Oh yeah, I remember this, y'all. So I was sampling. I'm right now. I'm sampling a lot of stuff, and I need to sample some more stuff today. Um, oh, why is it so big? This is cute. This is cute. Okay, I got a. I'm trying to see how I can hold it. Okay. It's an anklet, by the way. It's really, like, look how much room is in this. Well, y'all can see it now, but this is cute. Look at this, y'all. This is cute. Y'all see this one? This is gold. This is cute. Okay, so, dang. I'm sorry, y'all. I keep tapping on. All right, so these are purses, so you guys know. And they kind of like perfume purses. You gotta straighten it out though. <sighs> this is how it looks, y'all. So tell me what y'all think. And then I'm gonna show y'all the other colors. At this color, which is I thought was pink, but it's more like a peach or something like that. I really don't know. It's the white one. The white one is actually cute. Like I said before, I'm not going to be fixing stuff up. And this is the black one. All right, y'all. Unfortunately, this is the end of the vlog. Um, <laughs> this is why you don't record more. <laughs> this is why you do not record more than one video at once. I'm also doing a vlog today. So, yeah, y'all going to see me in this shirt a couple times. It's okay, though. I might, and I got to do another video, but I guess I'll change the shirt for that. If I can find some, if I can't, then I'm not going to change it. 
the heck y'all just gonna see me three times in a row in this shirt but yeah y'all i love y'all thank y'all for watching um be sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe if you're not because what is you doing um also you already know to share with your mama sister daddy brother auntie cousin uncle nephew auntie we already know this so um go ahead and do that and i love you guys and i will see you guys in the next video <laughs> bye